Hey there, my name is McKenna. I'm super stoked to be here with you today on this first edition of Virtual Gatsby Days live stream. The title for my talk today is Using Gatsby to Launch Your Side Hustle for Free. So we're gonna specifically look into a personal side project of mine called Be Freaking Kind to give you some insight and maybe even some inspiration in how you can launch your own side hustle or e-commerce store for free. This time period is, is very short, so I won't be live coding. Um, and so just a heads up, I'm gonna walk you more through the decision process and maybe a little bit of code snippets to uh, cement kind of how the puzzles fit, pieces fit together. Uh, but this will, I will also release the source code afterwards so you can dive into it at your own pace. A little bit of an introduction into who I am. I am the COO at a company called Mishkan. We do automatic testing and mainly focus on servers, APIs, uh, authorization and authentication flows. So not really Gatsby compatible just yet, but if you're interested, of course, make some noise. I am an American. I live in Slovenia with my lovely wife, and you can find me on Twitter at Ken Smoots. I don't tweet often, but I do like to post pictures of the seaside that I live at and music that I like, so. And I'm a long time avid at that user of Gatsby. My first touch point was actually React for Designers by Meng To and his team. If you're just getting into Gatsby and you're wanting a course that walks you through the why and getting started with Gatsby, I highly recommend it. And one of the reasons that I got into Gatsby was that I really appreciated the fact that it was incredibly accessible that there's no outright cost of building with this stack other than your time and access to the internet, which already was a big improvement from uh, sinking like financial resources into it. Additionally to that, the community that I found around Gatsby and the um, outlying resources as well is, that is incredibly supportive. And so anytime you're building with Gatsby, you're building on top of work that yourself and the rest of the community have continued to curate, such as plugins and examples. So let's get into a small demo of the e-commerce store that I'm using as an example. This is the home page that maps through a list of the products that uh, we're displaying. We have a navigation bar with our cart where you can change the products that are existing. You can go to checkout, enter your information, calculate your shipping. All of this is done um, with different APIs that we'll look into later. But this e-commerce store is as basic and minimalist as it gets, but it gets the point across on, on what I'm trying to do. We also do some Gatsby magic by clicking in and adding specific pages for each uh, product and need to do some more styling as it always is with uh, these front end projects. But let's dive, in, dive into some of the under the hood stack that's used to build this. So as mentioned, Gatsby is used for the page generation and also a custom GraphQL API um, to bring basically all of the data together. Chakra UI is used as the component library, uh, Netlify for hosting, Printful is the on-demand supply of the products that we're selling, as well as the, as the mockups of those. GraphCMS is also used for the additional fields, such as the description, extra images, etc. Jamie and Jonathan over at this team actually built a really verbose company-focused version of this e-commerce store definitely check them out if you're interested. And we also use Stripe and SendGrid. Stripe for the payment provider and SendGrid for the transactional emails. Diving more into the implementation, 
Uh, Gatsby has an API that has saved me countless times called Create Pages. And this essentially allows you to dynamically create pages based on the same template. And so here, this is actually waiting for our GraphQL call to our CMS, mapping over each of these products and creating a page um, under the products URL that is based on the ID using a template that we created. When building a template for these projects, I really wanted something that was accessible and beautiful, and I came across Chakra UI. Chakra is really accessible, but actually my favorite part of it um, happens to be that you can swap in your own custom theme. It's based off of this, uh, this project, this open source project called System UI. So you have a JSON object of custom colors, icons, spacings, etc. And it means that you create a really uh, approachable and um, consistent experience for your users, despite this being a small project. I know that having a design system like System for a 15 page project might seem like overkill, but Chakra made it so easy that I really couldn't turn it down. And at the backbone of this e-commerce store is the provider of the actual product. I decided to go with Printful because it was focused on apparel. Um, it has the broadest range of products though as well, in case I needed to expand, such as pillows and phone cases, you name it, you can even find gold-plated jewelry on this, which was really interesting. Um, and there's, but that being said though, there are several other uh, providers that are interesting to look into depending on what kind of vision you have for what you'd like to share with the world. Pointy is really great for art, pro art prints. Um, I saw a lot of fantastic testimonials, so if you're interested in that. Blurb specializes in print, books, magazines, and eBooks as well. So if you're if you're like myself, who's always kind of dreamed of writing an impersonal, in-person physical copy book, definitely check it out. But to be able to do this print on demand, we actually had to use the Create Resolvers API uh, from Gatsby because we needed to splice the data between GraphCMS and Printful because Printful provides only the bare bones data. And in order to add more context, such as a description, a sizing chart, uh, maybe even reviews, uh, this was necessary. Um, yeah, so moving on, in order to collect payments on your store, you'll need to provide, you'll need a payment provider. Stripe has a pay as you go type system, which I found really accessible. You don't pay a cent until you're earning money and that was really appealing to me as well as the verbose documentation and the customization options that the SDK has. So as you saw in the Be Freaking Kind store, we didn't have anything that looked like Stripe, acted like Stripe. It was all a completely customized form uh, with validation and everything. Definitely check it out if you wanna see like the nuances of what we were able to build with Stripe. And we're using a few different things in order to make transactional emails happen. But to give an idea of what these emails are, they're what users expect from a traditional e-commerce source, such as your order has been received, uh, your order has been sent out uh, to the post. And these are actually quite difficult with a static site uh, due to the nature of how it's built. And so using either Netlify or Zite, you could create something called a serverless function. With SendGrid, we were able to populate this serverless function with a dynamic template in order to send things such as the, um, the product that was ordered, image, name, total price of the entire thing, um, the order confirmation, lots of information, whatever you want, essentially. And this made creating emails for our static site 
incredibly accessible. Lastly, you'll need to host your store. And I decided to do it on Netlify because of how fast and accessible it is with a Gatsby store. Those serverless functions specifically need to be defined though for Netlify to pick them up in a netlify.toml file. You can find my implementation later once you dig into the code. And to be candid, I did spend $12.99 on a domain because I was really set on the name of Be Freaking Kind. That being said, the default option is free. So using whatever name of a store that you'd like, .netlify.app as what's provided by default will give you a free thing to get up and started. If you do a little bit of digging, there's also some really great uh, free domains or 99 cent domains that are possible to grab. So I really hope that this gave you some insight and maybe inspiration into how you can launch your own side hustle e-commerce store for free. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. Um, after this live q and I'll be on the Discord uh, server as well as available on Twitter anytime. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing all the projects that you're able to create. Thank you.